welcome back to my channel my name is Khalid and thank you for joining me this video is going to be a tutorial on this makeup look right here um, it is kind of my everyday type of makeup look everyday type of makeup routine I also included me applying my skincare like prepping my skin before applying my makeup which I always do so it's kind of like a little bit of skincare as well as you know my makeup application this is pretty much what I do and the products I use you know every time I'm doing my makeup so without further ado before I start rambling on about other stuff we're just gonna jump right into the video thank you guys bye hey guys welcome back I'm going to start this video with a freshly washed face I'm going to do some skin prepping to begin I'm going to moisturize my lips using the elf elf lip plumper and primer I'm using the plumping end to moisturize my lips it doesn't really plump but it's a really good moisturizing balm and I'm going to use the so totally clean toner on a cotton pad and tone my face Then using the Lue Hydrating and Calming Serum, I'm going to rub that into my skin as well. It's very cooling on the skin and I like using it after toning. Taking my Mary Kay Pore Minimizer, I'm going to just focus this on the T-zone areas because that's where I have a larger pores. Using the Mary Kay under firming under eye cream, I'm just gonna tap this in under my eyes to just keep them hydrated throughout the day then using my brow pencil I'm going to use this spoolie end to brush my brow hairs out and then I'm going to use the other end with the product to outline my brows following the natural shape of my brows. Using my brow pomade along with a angled brush, I'm going to fill in my brows, focusing mostly on the tail of the brows. And then I'm going to spoolie them as I go along to just blend the product out. Taking my NYX concealer, I'm going to use a concealing brush to carve out my brows and clean them up.
Now taking a fluff brush, I'm just gonna clean up around my brows, just blend the concealer out. Using the Mary Kay Daytime Serum, it has an SPF of 35. I'm just gonna rub that into my skin just to help give me protection from the sun throughout the day underneath my makeup. It's super lightweight. Um, it's kind of like a sunscreen, but it's super lightweight and it doesn't leave like a obvious white cast like other sunscreen do. So I really do like using it. Um, before or under my makeup. Then I'm gonna take the Mary Kay moisturizer and I'm also going to just rub that into my skin and everywhere I need it before I move con before I continue with my makeup. Then taking the color tattoo by Maybelline in the shade Creme de Rose, I'm just gonna use that as my eyeshadow base and also as my eyeshadow primer today. Um, I like using it as an eyeshadow base and primer because it does keep my eyes from creasing as well as it does give me some coverage on my lids and even out and gives me like an even base. Then I'm going to move back to my skin and I'm using the Mary Kay foundation primer. This also has an SPF of 15 and I'm going to take a small stippling brush by Wet n Wild and just blend that into the skin now taking my ear spoon powder I'm going to use it to just Set my eyeshadow base down. Then I'm going to use my eyelash curlers to quickly curl my lashes. Then taking the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro palette, I'm going to use their neutrals palette. I'm going to take that shade right there and I'm just going to use that as my first transition in shade. Now my second shade, I'm just going to focus this mostly on the outer V area of the eye as well as slightly taking it into the crease and it's a little bit more pigmented than I thought it was going to be so um, I quickly learned <laughs> to, you know, to go in with a lighter hand but it took a little bit of blending but I was able to get it to the get it the you know to this tone I wanted it to be now I'm going to use the elf um, eyeshadow liquid um, eyeshadow and I'm just gonna use it as my lid shade today and I'm just gonna tap it in with my fingers to just blend it out a little and kind of not let it be so harsh I don't I'm not going for a cut crease I'm just wanting a little bit of shimmer on the inner part of my eyelids Then going into this shade right here, I'm just gonna use that to just blend everything in seamless together, remove any harsh lines from the liquid eyeshadow and just kind of marry everything together. Then taking the deepest shade in the palette, I'm going to go ahead and Place that just on the outer V area of my eye, just on the outer V. I'm not trying to blend it out, I'm just slightly tapping it in to just deepen up the outer V and give me some depth. 
and after placing it we just gotta blend so everything is seamlessly working into each other so we're just gonna blend blend and blend some more now taking a angled brush and this Mary Kay eyeshadow I can't remember the name but it's a black eyeshadow and I'm just gonna use that to smudge and blend smudge some eyeshadow along my lash line instead of using like a liner I find that this works great to just give me some definition on my lash line see the difference see the difference so yeah I like doing that Now taking my Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer, I'm going to prime my face, focusing mostly on my T-zone areas. That's where I get the most oily, so... Then I'm going to take my Mary Kay CC Cream in the shade of Very Deep and Deep Fonts and I'm going to mix those together and apply on my face. I'm using a beauty sponge I got off of Amazon. It's not my favorite but it works. Now taking the Mary Kay concealers in bronze and I can't remember the other shade but I'll leave everything I used in the description bar down below but the bronze the bronze shade is very much close to my skin tone so I'm going to use the lighter shade to kind of highlight but I'm just concealing right now with the bronze shade now this shade is very much lighter but it's, it's quite light but that's why I'm mixing it and the bronzer shade together um, somewhere in between there is my shade and I'm gonna take the black opal stick in ebony and I'm gonna use it as my contour It's, a, it's their foundation stick, but it works wonders as a contour. It blends out really nicely as well. So I, I do like it for contour. I'm just gonna blend that out using this BH Cosmetics brush from their Rose Gold brush set. gonna blend the under eyes now using the beauty sponge using the um, pointed end of the beauty sponge I'm going to use that to just blend the concealer under my eyes and uh, we're just gonna let the video play for a bit while I work hard to blend my face back to its proper shade and I'll be back
with this elf cream to powder bronzer and blush duo I'm going to bronze my face using the bronze inside I'm taking a large stippling brush and just buffing that into my skin Then with a smaller stippling brush, I'm just lightly tapping on the blush just on the apples of my cheek, cheeks. Then I'm going to take my ear spun powder and to my beauty sponge and I'm just going to set the highlighted areas, all the places I place the concealers. I'm just going to set under my eyes, um, the middle of my forehead, down my nose on the bridge of my nose um, just everywhere I had placed a concealer previously I'm just gonna set that now that I've laid down all of the cream products we're gonna start layering the powdered products now And then I'm going to move back to my eyes. I'm taking the same transition shade I used before just to smoke out the lower lash line. I'm just going for a very blown out type of eye look today. So I'm going to continue adding shades. I'm taking the second transition shade and I'm just buffing that out under the lash line as well just kind of blowing it out then with that angled brush i used earlier i'm going to take the darkest shade i have on the outer corner of the eye and i'm just going to tight line that right up against my lower lashes and just blend it out Then I'm using the Wet n Wild Black Coal Eyeliner to line my water lines. Now taking the Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara, I'm going to use that to coat my lashes. Now taking the NYX Contour and Highlighting Palette, I'm going to take the darkest shade and I'm going to use that to just contour um, my face and give back some depth. Then taking a smaller brush, I'm just going to contour down the bridge of my nose, just lightly. Taking my L'Oreal True Match powder in the shade Deep Golden, I'm going to use that to just further blend away the trans translucent powders from all of my highlighted areas. Then using my CoverGirl bronzer, I'm going to bronze up my face. Going in with my L'Oreal True Match powder in the shade Deep, not Deep Golden, but in Cocoa this time. This is my all over face powder that I'm just gonna use to set 
my face and set everything into place and just blend without any harsh lines. Taking my Ruby Kisses highlighter, I'm just going to highlight the high points of my cheeks um, and highlight my down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin. I'm just going to put the highlighter wherever I need to glow. Then using a smaller brush, I'm just going to add some highlight to the inner part of my eyes and also on my brow bones. Then I'm going to take a blending brush and just blend that highlight seamlessly into my transition color just to remove any harsh lines. Now with my e.l.f. blush quad I'm going to add some blush to the apples of my cheeks and just blend it out now taking my Mario Badescu setting spray I'm going to set my face using a brown lip liner um, that I got at the dollar store. I'm just going to outline my lips Using another lip I'm liner going to the um, that's lip more of a nudish pink to just fill um, my lips as in my and blending today. it into the brown lip liner Then taking the Mary Kay brow gel, I'm just going to use that to set my brows then I'm going to take my mascara, mascara again and I'm going to coat my lashes one more time and that completes the look guys thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye